Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wagwan, what's up, what's up, what's up? If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you'll keep notified every time I upload a new video. Cause YouTube just seems to always I miss up. And if you're old subby, welcome back. Uh, come uh, uh, enough for me. All right, so guys, I um attempt a wash and go without gel, and uh, this was the result. I use the Lotta Body Mousse, and you'll see me showing you the products also further down in the video. The Cantu um, Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream, which I hate, but I'm but I finish it because I got it and water and well guys that's the result I mean I can work with it I have no problem with it I think it looks okay for the most part and forgive me if you keep you see me keep looking over over all over the place I'm looking at the product um guys also, forgive me for this long intro. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Starting off at the back, I am spritzing my hair with some water. And I use a Febreze bottle because I love the way it sprays. That's all it is to it. Right now, I'm going in with a Kantu um, Coconut Curl Activator. And I am saturating it all over my hair, making sure I coat all my strands. By the way, guys, this does nothing for my hair. This product is trash for me. It just sits on top of my hair, but I'm going to use it until it's finished because I spend my bucks on it, okay? Right now I'm going in with the Lotta Body Hair Mousse and that's what I'm using to substitute gel. Honestly guys, using this is not the worst option but I feel like when I use a gel for my wash and go, I get way better definition. But if you're a person that doesn't really care about that much definition, then this would be a great substitute. And it doesn't have a super strong hold. Although currently talking, I'm on day 4 of my wash and go and I still have curls. But it's not that um that strong hold it's kind of a loose hold which i don't mind anyway moving on to the front i'll be doing the same thing um that i did to the back and that's all i will be doing to the rest of my hair <laughs> So now I'm going in and I'm going to shingle my hair and I am just, all that means just take some small portion, wrap it around your finger and that's it. Some of them I, I did them big so I go over them to make them a little smaller because it does take a lot of time, a lot of hand work and I ain't for that, okay? So I did some of them big and guys, look at that product, look how it just sits on top of my eye hate it like usually my product my hair sucks into it um this product does when i tell you it's the worst product this is why i've never gravitated towards cantu i don't know 
People say it works for them, but it never worked for me, and I should have followed my gut feeling and stay far away from it. I don't even know why I purchased it. Enough of me ranting on this shit. finished and I'm loving the look right here you can see how big the sections look and that's because guys I ain't got time to do it fine shingling and you realize how dirty my hair color looks that because of the henna treatment it makes your hair get brown so I'm gonna think I'm gonna buy the black one this is the look all done guys and I'm gonna sit a couple minutes for it to dry and when it's dry, I'll be back. So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you try it, come back and comment and let me know. Or let me know where you share the pics. Or tag me on Instagram at CandyAppleMomo. Or use my hashtag, which is MomoUniquelyNatural. So I'll see your work. And I'll post you on my Facebook page, which is MomoUniquelyNatural. And on to my next video, guys. Guys. One love.